Assalamu alaikum. A few days back, I sent a similar message related to Corona virus situation in China and uh, its possible implication in the rest of the countries and uh, especially Pakistan. A couple of friends requested me to to send uh, a message in English and Urdu, so I'm going to do that today, inshallah. Uh, the situation <coughs> in China is like this: that they have taken. Uh, measures to contain the virus and basically those measures are that uh, they have advised the people to uh, stay at homes as much as possible go outside only when there is an extreme need and when you are going outside also take the measures like putting the mask on uh, having uh, proper clothes keeping away from uh, crowds uh, uh, avoiding uh, any uh, physical communication with the people and also avoiding making any crowd or going to crowded areas. Uh, there is no problems so far in the areas we are living, that is uh, the province of Guangdong and the city of Guangzhou. Uh, food, stuff uh, and any other material is abundant. Uh, there is no shortage of anything no shortage of medical facilities or uh, supplies. Also, <clears throat> there are uh, special arrangements by government, especially that you can always see uh, ambulances and medical teams in the vicinity of every uh, living co uh, complex. And uh, whenever there are uh, any requirements, the medical teams are visiting and, uh, and, and supporting. Uh, I have a request and advice to those people who are insisting to go to Pakistan from China that they shall not do that, they shall stay in China uh, unless it is extremely important uh, because this is the only way you can contain uh, an epidemic. If you stay where you are and take the precautionary measures, that is the best for you and for us, the rest of the people. Uh, <clears throat> I heard that uh, a lot of people reached Pakistan. Now I have advice to the government and the authorities there, even though it is looking impossible for Pakistan to do these steps what Chinese are doing here. They are very disciplined, they are very uh, cooperative and they are uh, following the laws and advices of the government and they are uh, taking care of the welfare of each other. So I'm not sure if, if, if in Pakistan these measures will be possible to implement, but they shall do that. It is in the interest of the country, it is in the interest of humanity and the whole world. Those people who left from here shall not be allowed to, to mingle with their families, their friends and public. They shall be kept isolated for 20 days. I suggest 20 days, uh, 14 days is okay, but no one knows. If we don't know how to treat the virus, how we know that it's fertility time or, or uh, incubation time is 14 days. So I suggest better to have more precautions to keep them for 20 days. And uh, those who have already mingled with the families, who have already came in contact with the people, those people shall all be either self-isolated or they shall be kept in, uh, in, in quarantine. Because as I understand that uh, we do not have measures, uh, our people are not used to following uh, these principles and these are taken light. Like I can see some people are even not uh, happy to stop on uh, red light, not knowing the consequences and also not putting on their uh, safety belt in the car. So. It will be difficult, but it has to be enforced. There should be no tolerance in these things. If we want to save ourselves from spreading this virus and for, for uh, creating trouble and for creating uh, uh, losses. So this is my humble uh, request to the government and to the public that they shall uh, uh, cooperate in this particular issue. And uh, inshallah, very soon uh, China as well as the whole world will be uh, overcoming this situation.